What is up, everyone? As you can obviously tell from the jacket, it's, uh, you know, it's winter season. And uh, it's not cold in here. I just like wearing the jacket to kind of like signify that it's winter season. And, um, you know, uh, I'm currently trying my best to keep myself in, uh, in uh, my high spirits right now because I'm currently undergoing a lot of financial problems. And... Um, and the big, like like you say, it's it's a cycle, you know. It's a bit of a, it's a bit of a, a you know, a food chain wheel, so to speak. It's like my job isn't really giving me that much money, so I kind of need I I need to drive an hour into the city over so I can do some gig work so I can give me a little bit of money. In the process of me trying to do that, I ultimately spent my gas money that I was intending on paying on that trip into getting myself a license because I've been using my out-of-state license and I'd rather use my I'd rather get an in-state license since I have a place here now in uh, in Texas. So it's like because I spent my gas money on my license, I don't know how I'm going to get to that city. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to make the money to get to that city so I could do what I need to do and I don't like asking people for money so I just I, I'm like you know man what what gig work can I do here and it's like nope all the gigs are an hour away and it's like this is yeah sucks um I uh so it's like right now I kind of like I'm, I'm kind of in a mental and financial bind and because I'm in a mental and financial bind like I immediately my brain immediately goes back to well this is because and I, it gets hyper political because it's like I'm reminded that the reason why everything is so bad here is because elderly rich people are ridiculously incompetent in being in control of things. And because they are in control of things, everything is bad. And it's like as a nation, we just can't seem to get rid of this concept. I am like I say, you know, America is proof that white supremacy does not work. <laughs> Like, at all. Like, white supremacy in control just doesn't work. It's just... And some strange reason, we just can't get rid of them. It's like, why is it, like, you know... Like, I need Ken Burns to, like, make a documentary dedicated to how badly white supremacy has just ruined everything. Uh, like, literally. Because, like, you could look... If you look at every bad thing in the nation, you could always... It'll always go back to white supremacy. You know what I mean? It'll, it will either stem from white supremacy or white supremacy will be a part of it down the line. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's ridiculous to me. And the sad part is, is that like the white supremacists know how bad they are. So basically they take every single progressive idea, put their own white supremacist spill on it and be like, we can't do this because if we do, then we're going to do this instead. And that's why we shouldn't have any good things. While I'm undergoing my financial problems, I'm realizing that like the most expensive thing I have is my car. Like the most the thing I have to pay the most money for is my car. And because of that, I remember coming across watching an episode of last week tonight, and uh and, like at some point there was a TikTok dedicated to some lady complaining about fifteen minute cities and how they're building fifteen minute cities all around us, to which they're not, but that's just you know, like we gotta that you know, you gotta hype up the stupid base some kind of way. And, um, like I said, there's some lady on TikTok and I didn't know what 15 minute cities were until I finally found out what they were. And I'm like, dog, we need these. For those who don't know what a 15 minute city is, think of a military base without the military, because it just means that everything is like kind of close, like everything that like stores, um, you know, like, like stores, government buildings and things like that are all within like kind of. 15 minutes of each other so you could like walk to these places you could probably like ride a bike to these places it's like you know and you know white supremacists are just like we don't want that that's a bad idea to what are you doing i know we don't need it and um you know and it's just like my whole it's just like you mean to tell me that because if these concepts were a real thing like I would never, I would have a lot more money because I would never use a car. I would just walk to where I need to go to. I would just like ride a bike to where I need to go to. I wouldn't need a car. You see what I'm saying? Because like, I don't like driving. Like the only reason why I drive is because I have to. I don't like having a car. The only reason why I have a car is because I need a car. Because everything that I need to do or everything I need to partake in is literally like, it's like if I try to walk to where I needed to go to, it would take me like at least a good two, three hours to get there and two, three hours to get back on foot, okay? So it's like, this is terrible. Like, the fact that we could have these ideas, we could have these things, you know what I mean? But, you know, because Congress is in the chokehold of big oil, it's like cars have to stay relevant just to 
keep big oil rich magnates more rich. I don't understand why rich people need more money, but apparently they do. It's it's a it's it was weird. <sighs> Speaking of TikTok, because I have been like so frustrated with my financial situation, I have been going on TikTok and ranting like crazy in order to try to get myself just to sort of just clear my head a little bit. So I've been talking about and I've obviously been talking about right wingers and the elite class and, you know, and apparently I did not know that like if you talk about right, the right wingers, they get upset about it and they respond to you. So, uh, so far, my TikTok has basically just been me responding to these people who responded to me because I hurt their feelings. And um, I'm telling you, it's really frustrating. Like, here's my thing, okay? I'm not a, I don't like to call myself a debate lord because I hate the word debate because to me, a debate is ultimately like trying to change somebody's mind. And that's not something I'm ever trying to do. If you don't agree with what I'm saying, I don't care. If you don't believe what I'm saying, I don't care. Oh, what I care about is me getting my point across. If you don't agree with it, whatever. It's like, I feel like everybody is like ultimately just trying to get their point across and everybody else is trying to like, just sort of like change people's minds, but you're not going to change my, like, if I don't care about what you're saying, you're not going to change my mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's kind of like, you know, like I, I have to care about what you're saying in order for me to be like, you know what? I'm going to start seeing stuff, seeing this issue from your lens from now on. If I don't care, then I'm not going to care. That's just how I see things. This is how I go about it. Um, in any case, though, these people, they get upset. They're like, you're wrong. And I'm like, I never said I was right, bro. I'm just going off my own perspective. If you don't like it, then you don't have to like it. Like, you don't have to listen to me. You know, like, here's the thing. Here's the good thing about me being wrong. I'm not going to ever try to convince you that I'm right. If you don't think I'm right, okay and with these guys it's like no you need to think that i'm right and i'm like i don't care if you're right or not like i'm not going to tell you that you're right or wrong because i don't care if you're right or not I'm, I'm just you made your point i'm making my point you know what i'm saying and these guys they just don't see that and, you know like one dude actually tried to convince me that there's only two political parties and i'm like no there isn't you can make your own political party if you wanted to like you really could like look it up there's there's ways to do that um so yeah there's that uh but yeah i'm just i'm I'm really frustrated right now like because i, I get hyper political on tiktok and at this point now i'm hoping that i do go viral somewhere for some reason because like internet fame equals internet money and i would love to have at least a little bit of internet money because i don't like driving places to do work i would rather like make money creating content but i also know that people who create content, you know, like, like, you know, nobody's gonna, like, nobody's gonna really support you unless you're already famous. And I'm not already famous yet. And it's aggravating because in order to get famous, I have to be famous already. And these, you know, once again, it's like a case of, it's a case of we can't give you water unless you already have water. And it's like, I don't have water. I need water. Can you give me the water? Well, you don't have water already. And it's like, why would I need, if I needed more, why would I need more water? If I already have water, you know what I'm saying? That's, uh, the, you know, and fan, like I said, you can't get a fan base unless people already like you or whatever. So I don't care. But yeah, like I do hope that I do go viral because like I said, internet money is good. And I've been doing this content creator thing since 2006. So, you know, hopefully something kicks, you know, after a while. <sighs> I do need to like go back to my older videos and just try to figure out how to, you know, improve them i don't know my editing skills have never been great um what else is there what else is there uh i'm like i said i'm just really stressed out right now i'm just trying to get myself unstressed so uh that's gonna be it for now love peace and happiness um i'm gonna go ahead and try to do me a little bit of working out i don't know if y'all can see it in my face but i have been losing weight a little bit and it's not just because i'm starving myself and surviving off of just tuna fish Y'all be easy.